from Scotland. Ah! Must be from my dear old gran in Aberdeen. She always remembers me at Halloween. How come? Well, it's her favourite holiday. She always made her own fudge and taffy and scones dripping with treacle. How I miss that dear, sweet old lady. Oh, Lord, the old bat's coming for a visit. How wonderful. What brings her here to America? Uh, she loves me. She misses me. She wants to meet my fiancé. And yet, you don't have a fiancé. Well, I used to. Her name was Gretchen. We were engaged, and then we were. She should rot in hell, and I should get my ring back. But you're not bitter. No, no. I wish her all the best, the shrew. <laughs> anyway, my sick old gran kept asking me when I was going to marry Gretchen. And you didn't tell Gran she dumped you? Well, I was afraid it would kill the fragile old thing. Look, Logan, you know how I feel about lying. Yeah, you're for it, right? Absolutely. Now, here's what you do. Mm -hmm. For as long as Gran's in town, get somebody to be Gretchen. Ah, easier said than done. You see, I may have exaggerated Gretchen's charms. I told Gran she was the sweetest, loveliest thing this side of Scotland, a paragon of beauty and virtue. Where am I going to get someone to live up to that picture of perfection? OK. Who wants to buy Christmas seals? How are you going to beat that? <laughs> what? Julia, great news. My grand's coming to the States. Logan, that's wonderful. I can't wait to meet her. Yes, and, um... When you do, would I be out of line in asking you to wear something special? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Something that really brings out your, uh, your lovely eyes. Say, an engagement ring. Excuse me? And could I call you Gretchen? And could you call me Honey Bunny? OK, what's he up to? He told his gran he was engaged, and now she's coming to meet his fiance, which he doesn't have. Gretchen. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, at least she didn't say no. No. There you go. None of you ever need to be ugly again. What's in the case? The secret to eternal youth and beauty. Not available in any store. Only available through a licensed representative of Ooh La La Lady. Okay, you run a pawn shop. And I got stuck with 20 of these and a smock. You want to buy some beauty aids? I don't think so, Yolanda. <laughs> hey, Mrs. O, what's this? Oh, Gracie, sweet child. Can I interest you in my innovative line of beauty products? I've never had any makeup before. Really? You get an allowance? Uh-huh. <laughs> then my uh, ooh-la-la lady preteen starter kit would be perfect for you. You're giving this to me? Give? What is give? You have to buy. How much is it? <laughs> Please, you cannot put a price on beauty. <laughs> but let's take a shot at it. $9.95 plus tax. Judy, it's Logan. Logan McDonough. Yeah, we went out for a while, and then I stopped calling you. Well, I'm calling you now. Hello, Judy. <laughs> I am so dead. Good night, Logan. Yeah, whatever. You're mad at me, aren't you? No, no, don't worry about it. OK. Look, it's not something that I can do. I understand. I'm sorry I can't help you out. OK, I'll work it out. OK. You sure you're not mad at me? Julia, you haven't changed since you were six years old. You just can't stand the idea that there's anybody in the world who's unhappy with you. Oh, that is so ridiculous. And how do you know it was when I was six? Because on your birthday, you said, I'm sorry, I'm not five. Oh, well, you look so disappointed. <laughs> anyway, those days are gone. Oh, no, they're not. Look at you. You tried to leave this shop six times, and you couldn't do it until you were sure Logan still likes you. I can leave this shop anytime I want to. OK. <laughs> Despite what he said, Logan is mad at you. Now, Lee. <laughs> no problem. Goodbye. <laughs> well, <laughs> she showed me. <laughs> well, you think you know somebody. Oh, well. Night, Logan. Yeah, good night. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
I want to explain myself so there is no misunderstanding. There's no need to explain. It was wrong of me to put you in the spot like that. You really mean that? Mm-hmm. I knew you wouldn't go for this. It's just you're so perfect. What man on the lookout for a pretend bride wouldn't have you at the top of his list? You're sweet and you're smart and you're funny and Okay. You're... I'll marry you. You will? Yeah, well, only while your gran is here. You've made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> yes, well, as soon as she leaves, it's over between us. Of course. You become too demanding, I stop communicating, I dump you. <laughs> no, 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 I dump you. All right, but we have to go to counselling first. Good night, Logan. Psst. Psst. Over here! that ooh-da-da -da lady. I hardly recognize the beautiful new you. That's because, in case you haven't noticed, I'm green. That is not my fault. Ooh-da-da -da lady is for entertainment purposes only. No warranties or guarantees. Result on a given face may vary. You did this to me. Get it off before my mom sees and sells me to the circus. Circus people are happy. Okay, the stuff doesn't wash off. Oh, you poor little lamb. What you need are the Urala Lady facial scrub sheets. How much? Two fifty. Fine. You're not gonna be happy till you have all the little kids' money. <laughs> You're young. You will earn more. <laughs> Beezy's plane landed on time. The moment of truth is at hand. Shouldn't we say the moment of deception? This is no time for semantics. This is a time for solid, well-rehearsed lies. Yes. Well, speaking of lies, I've been going over our bio, and oh. I have a couple questions on page 12. Yeah? It says, I pursue you relentlessly across seven states, begging to bear your children and carry on the magnificent McDonough bloodline. Too many states? Alaska. Ours is, a, is an epic story of love and passion. Yeah, well, you're making me out to be some kind of needy man-chasing bimbo with oven mitts. No, you say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That page 18. I mean, I'm okay with all the stuff about me, except the whole mute thing. I'm just trying to minimize the possibility of a verbal misstep. I'll be nice to the old battle axe. You see, now, this is why I've deprived you of a tongue. Logan, I, I just don't think I can memorize all this stuff. There's too many pages. You want to be the mute one? Could I? <laughs> no! Now, come on, Gretchen. Who's Gretchen? Page one, you! Oh. Well, bless my ears and whiskers. It's my own Logan. Gran! You're here. Way too early. We're not ready. There was a three-hour layover in Washington. I couldn't be bothered, so I took a bus, and here I am. Here you are. <laughs> Look, everyone, it's Grandma Beezy. <laughs> Well, are you going to stand there like a lummox, or are you going to give your gran a great big bone-crushing hug? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been needing, along with a shot of single malt. <laughs> gran, I'd like you to meet my esteemed employer, Shirley Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan. That would be Irish, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. But as we Irish always say to you Scots, down with the English. <laughs> well spoken, lass. Oh, she's a cheaper. On behalf of the entire McDonough clan, I want to thank you for taking such good care of my grandson oh. these many years. It's our oh. pleasure. Gran, I'd like you to meet my intended, Gretchen, who is my best friend in the world and would never let me down. Right, Gretchen? Yes. Yes. Gretchen, that's me. <laughs> And uh, when Logan asked me to marry him on, on June 3rd, on that icy road outside of Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> yes, I, I felt my life had just begun because being Logan's helpmate and cooking and cleaning for him and, and being the mother of his children, <laughs> it's the culmination of a, a life stream. <laughs> Well, uh, you're the picture of devotion. <laughs> well, Gran, you must be famished after such a long flight. Maybe Gretchen will nip into the kitchen and fix us a wee snack. <laughs> Gretchen. That's me. <laughs> yes, of course, coming right up. Honey bunny. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs>
So, Gran, what do you think of my fiancée? Gretchen's certainly a lovely, marvelous, sweet young lass, isn't she? I'll dash your brains out with a rocker for it till you're married to that one. <laughs> what are you saying? I hate her. Now, might I have a nice cup of tea, dear? How can you not like Gretchen? It's a gut feeling. And this gut has served me well for 96 years. But this is what you wanted. We're engaged. I know you're young. You're in love. And you cannot imagine life without this woman. And I know you're going to fight me on this, but say it I must. Don't go through with this marriage. OK. <laughs> yes, dear. I'll be happy to make canapes. I'll be happy to stay in the kitchen. I'll be Gretchen Fetchin in the kitchen. Julia. It's Gretchen to you, baby. Fantastic news. Yeah, I know, I know. We have her blessing. Even better. She hates you. What? She totally hates your guts. Isn't that great? Uh, what, do, what do you mean she doesn't like me? No, no, no. Hates. Who knows why? Who cares? The main thing is, she can't stand the sight of you, we're off the hook. No, 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 not off the hook. What, what do you mean, doesn't like me? I... I don't know what you did to turn her so utterly against you, but I'm forever grateful. You're welcome. Although, I think if I had another shot at it, I'm, I'm sure I could, I could make a better impression. You're not upset about this, are you? Of course not. I mean, if I hadn't spent all that time trying to remember all that stuff you gave me, I, I'm sure that I would have been a lot more likable. Well, thank goodness you weren't, because it's all turned out so perfectly. <laughs> so you're telling me they've broken their engagement? It was a shock to me. <laughs> but apparently the youngsters have decided to cut it off. Have they now? Oh, yes. And it is especially painful to me. <laughs> and yet they were so happy just seconds before your welcome arrival. Well, you know, young American women can be very fickle with their affection. Is that so? Two-faced, backstabbing... <laughs> Pardon me, dear. I was saying it's your Logan's loss if a bright young woman like Gretchen slips through his fingers. <laughs> well, if it gives your Irish heart comfort to delude yourself like that, you go right ahead. <laughs> the real comfort is that now she can marry into a quality family. <laughs> Well, she best hurry. <laughs> She's getting a little long in the tooth. <laughs> At least she has her teeth. <laughs> so, Gran. <laughs> I guess it's a quick tour to the sites of Philadelphia and then on the first plane back to Scotland. There'll huh? be no sightseeing for me. Mm, I've work to do. Obviously, you cannot pick a suitable bride, so it falls to me to do it for you. No, no, Gran, I wouldn't want to put you out. I'd be more than willing to put her out. <laughs> it's no trouble. We're a family. But I'd best send for the rest of my things. I have a feeling we may be in for the long haul. <sighs> no need to thank me. <laughs> I'm a good person. And if someone doesn't like me, it's just because they, they, they haven't gotten to know me. You want to hear something funny? Yes, I know. She hates my guts. Ha, 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 ha. And now she's decided to stay and try and find Logan someone more suitable. She is going to make that boy miserable. Oh, poor Logan. You know, if I could convince her to like me, I could get Logan out of this mess. What? Yeah. She likes me. The engagement's on. She leaves town. Logan's problems are solved. Oh, forget it. That crabby, horrible old woman just doesn't like you. Doesn't like me yet. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh, trust me, it's gonna work. <laughs> Oh, Grandma Beezy, are you having a nice time in America? Are you going to go see the Liberty Bell? Just when you have the perfect amount of coffee and the perfect amount of cream, some zilla in an apron comes along and ruins the balance. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <sighs> You know what? 
I feel a little threatened by the closeness you two share. <laughs> you say you've, you've never been married? No. Oh. Would you like to be? Well, sure. <laughs> Lovely. And how many children would you like to have? I don't really want any. I really don't want you sitting here. Move it along. <laughs> Take it out the door. <laughs> Hello, Grandma Beasy. <laughs> you know, I drove all the way into Philadelphia this morning to this, this delightful little specialty shop that sells nothing but Scottish products. <laughs> Do you know what they had? A muzzle? <laughs> no. They had the most recent edition of your hometown paper, the Aberdeen Courier. So I bought it for you. How oh, sweet and thoughtful of you to bring me a three-day-old paper. Same as I wrapped fish in just before I left. <sighs> I guess that's how they say thank you in Scotland. <laughs> hey, Grace, we heard about your green face. What about it? We want to buy some of that stuff to make our faces green, too. For Halloween. None of the stores have it. That's because it's not available in any store. You can only get it through a scary face licensed representative. And you're one of them? Maybe. You boys get allowances? Yeah. Hmm? I'll talk to my supplier. This is oh, I've got a deal for you. I have a way to unload all this makeup. You do? Give it to me. Gift? What is gift? You have to buy. We go 50-50 on this. You conniving little brat. Why did I not have a child like you? <laughs> that smell. Sheep guts and oatmeal. That's a muffin you don't get at Starbucks. Well, I made it for Beezy. It's haggis. The Scots eat it. Well, that explains a lot. Yes, I'm sure she'll appreciate it and eventually appreciate me. Julia, 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 you can't stand that there's anybody in the world who doesn't like you. Oh, that is not what this is about. Yes, it is. That nasty old witch hates you and is driving you crazy. Well, what if it is? I mean, people are supposed to like each other. That's what life is about. No, dear, that's what it's a small, small world is about. Yeah, well... I'm going to show her what a sweet, even-tempered, reasonable person I am. I mean, after all, that is the least I can do for Logan. You know what you can do for yourself. Get mad. Let it out. It'll make you feel a lot better. Oh, I am not going to get mad. I'm not even going to raise my voice. I have my pride. I have my dignity. Oh, what a dignified little hat. <laughs> I really have no idea how to call sheep. Four years of college and the dinner teacher of that. That's so simple. <laughs> now you try it. I'm gonna go before the sheep get here. Be easy. Much as I appreciate you trying to find me a suitable bride, I really think you should stop bringing young women in off the street. I agree. We should head up to the farmlands. Better stock. From Abizi, I have a surprise for you. Oh, God, what no? It's haggis. I made it all by myself. I cut up all those squishy sheep bits and mixed in the oatmeal and shoved it in that sheep's stomach. And, and then I cooked it all afternoon. And, oh, and I threw in some basil. That was my little touch. <laughs> and I did it all in honor of your visit. Now, is there anything that you would like to say to me? <laughs> yes, and, there is. And uh, that would be... There's only one thing in this world I like less than haggis, and that's you. <laughs> you ungrateful, self-righteous, disagreeable old woman! Since you have arrived here, I have done nothing but work my butt off for you! Julia said but, and she used it as a noun. And what do I get in return for being nothing?
anything but nice to you. I get grief. I get vile. I get nastiness. You don't like me? Well, guess what, sister? I don't like you. Come, come with me. Honey, we'll get a nice warm glass of milk. I hate milk. What else have you got in there? Right. You and Mother will look in the refrigerator. <laughs> Wait. Welcome to the family, McDonough. Daughter. Why don't you hate her? What? I thought she was a spineless featherhead. But no, she has revealed her true self. A woman with fire in her belly. <laughs> and a frown on her face. That's the kind of woman you need for a wife. Someone who'll keep you in line and kick you in the teeth when it's called for. In the name of the Clan MacDonough, this union has my blessing. Whoa. <laughs> this is fantastic. You're going to have to like you. I knew I could. I mean, you know, I mean, if she just got to know the real me, she'd like me. <laughs> you bet. Don't push it. OK. okay. Now we can be married. And then. The two of you can start working on giving me a great big strapping great grand baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Mom, look at all the money Kay and I made. Mom? Oh. <laughs> can she breed or what? <laughs> I've given the matter of the dowry care for thought. And here's what would make Gretchen an acceptable and welcome bride. I would require from your clan one dozen sheep, a half dozen cattle, one good fertile brood sow, <laughs> ten sacks of seed corn, and a whale of strong cheese. <laughs> here's my counteroffer. I'll give you 20 pounds of mocha java, two gross plastic cup lids, a case of sweet and low, and this sugar dispenser. Sugar included. We don't seem to be coming together at all. At this rate, the negotiations could drag on forever. I'm counting on it.